Hi everybody, thanks for pressing play on the video today. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.blogspot.co.uk. What I have for you today is this box, which I think is possibly one of the most classy, elegant gift boxes that I've seen in a while. I am quite proud of it, as you can perhaps tell, but it is incredibly simple to make. I'll just show you how it unwraps. The ribbon undoes um, and it slides off. And inside we have a gorgeous box. Um, and I have popped in um, a bag of Thornton's chocolates. Thornton's are a fabulous British chocolate manufacturer. And these boxes actually went out as a little gift um, to some ladies that have joined my team of stampers recently, my stamping up team here in Manchester, and a bit more, a bit further afield. Um, so these went out to them as a thank you gift, and I imagine they've got them, well I know they've got them now, so I can show you the box without fear of them, um, of spoiling the surprise. So I will just tie that back up, and see just how easy that was. There we go, I'll put it to the side and show you how we made it. Okay, so we're going to do some stamping first, and what I have here is a piece of, this is um, very vanilla, not whisper white, I have having a bit of a, a trying to use a bit more um, very vanilla, and we are going to stamp all over this, I'm just going to bring in a bit of scrap to use underneath, using um, the Flowering Flourishes stamp set. The cardstock measures six and three quarters of an inch by nine and a half inches. As always, I will put all of the dimensions over on my blog. This version is real red with gold ribbon. I'm gonna try and make a knight of navy and silver, and let's see how that, um, that works out. So I've mount already mounted um, the largest stamp from this set, and I have my knight of navy ink pad. And I'll pop that, where's the best place to put that? Probably there. So I'm going to ink up my stamp all over and I'm just going to use this randomly around the perimeter um, of my cardstock like this. Okay, so I'm just going to open that up. You can rotate it as you go around. Not the best stamping. I need to pay a bit more attention to my inking, I think. Like that. And the last one, something like that. Okay. Now we are ready to do our scoring. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard at this stage. And we are going to score this on all four sides at one and three quarters of an inch. So score it and then rotate it one and three quarters of an inch. Okay, well I've got the scoreboard out, I'm going to also score the, the wrap section. This measures um, six and three quarters of an inch again, but it measures nine and a half in the long dimension. So we are going to score this um, on the long side at two and a quarter inch, Four inches, four inches, seven and three eighths of an inch, and nine inches. Okay. We're also going to then at this on this end, we are going to notch it along this way at two and a half inches. We're just going to put a little mark there at two and a half inches, and then on this side, I'm going to put a notch at one and a half inches, so just there, okay? So can you see those, I'm not sure if you can see it in the light, the camera is focusing, just here and just here, I've put two notches, okay? I'm gonna put the scoreboard away. And I'm gonna bring in my big stamping up scissors. You can use, um, you can use your um, trimmer to do this, I was gonna say but um, it's just as easy to use it with the scissors. So we are just gonna cut between those notches on a nice slow diagonal like that, you see? And what I forgot to do is I forgot to put that um, one and a half inch on the other side. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. So just gonna mark here at one and a half inches. 
and again I'm just going to join those two notches up with my scissors cut that off like that okay put the scoreboard away for good now I don't think I've forgotten any scoring and we will just fold and burnish the score lines on our wrap go just put that to one side we'll bring in our piece that we stamped and again let's just score and burnish those edges so fold and burnish those edges I always say score and burnish don't I um, and then we're just going to cut up these score lines here so we're making two flaps on that end and two flaps on this end we are going to just quickly notch those out as always this is purely optional it just does give you a bit more of a professional finish when you fold it up i love the sound these scissors make because it's just they're so sharp and crisp and they just make a really satisfying sound as you're cutting. Am I the only person that thinks that? I'm probably the only person that thinks that. And I'm a little bit crazy, but never mind. So we're now going to fold up our box base. So this is going to be the drawer where our chocolates go. Just like that. Pull that chamfer away. Just going to use um, a little bit of fuse to do this. on there like that. And then like that okay I'm just gonna fold those up quickly very simply okay and that is basically our box where our chocolates are gonna fit I do have another packet of chocolate just fit in there perfectly and then this is going to stick down onto the middle section of our wrap. So we'll take that out for a moment while I do that. I'm just going to use Tombow um, on the base of the box. Don't need too much, but enough to make sure that it sticks. And we will... Now it's, it isn't, it's going to centre this way and you just need to, by eye, make sure that you've got the same gap on either side of the box because the wrap is a little bit longer than the box, which gives us that really nice recessed look that I really like. You can then see just how that is going to fold up, lovely like that, okay. So I'm gonna use my handheld punch now to pop a little, a little hole just in there, okay. And as I said, the other one I use the gold ribbon, so I'm going to use the um, silver ribbon, the Knight of Navy. I'm going to start by feeding it through that hole I just punched, which is usually quite easy, but of course on camera it's not going to go through. So pop that through there. I'm going to pull quite a lot because we are going to wrap this round once twice and then bring it back up here and we're going to tie it off in a nice little bow here oh hopefully she says oh I like that I like the look of that knight of navy and silver what do you think and just snip off those edges of the ribbon. There we go. I'll sort that out. Um, you want to make sure that your ribbon is crossing over on the bottom of the box so that it looks nice um, on the sides. And then on the original one that I oh that I showed you, so on my floor there, um, I put on three gold sequins that came off the sequin trim that you saw I had left over if you watched my video for the um, Bohemian DSP pack. Um, bag 
Um, so what on this one I'm going to do, if I have them, yep, here they are, is just put three little um, of the largest sized rhinestones on the corner here, just to give, just to finish it off, really. There we go. Oh, and those are, there you can see them, two incredibly elegant, if I can pick it up, two incredibly elegant, beautiful little gift boxes. I hope you like them. Um, if I can help with any Stampin' Up! products, you know exactly where I am. And I hope to see you again watching another one of my videos soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.